Hey everyone, my name is Carter Viss. I'm an employee here at Loggerhead Marine Life Center who has a passion for aquariums. Today we're going to do something really special. We're going to move this fish who's been in quarantine for about a month into our main system. And this fish is a porcupine puffer fish. They are found in seagrass beds throughout all of southern Florida ranging up through the east coast. So now we are going to move this fish from its quarantine tank into this bucket where we're going to acclimate it to the water for our main system. Okay, and we already have water in there. Where's that water from? Is that from this tank? Yes, yeah, so I took the water from this tank into this bucket and what I'm going to do once the fish is in this bucket, I'm going to add water from this main system about a scoop of this every 15 minutes for about an hour to two hours. And I do this because I want the fish to be adjusted to the new salinity and temperature in this new system. That's very important for the fish. So what happens in these quarantine tanks, the reason we don't put them in this tank right when we catch them is to prevent this fish from bringing disease into this tank, which I'm sure you guys all know what quarantine means by now. And this fish cannot spread COVID. So we're not worried about COVID with this fish. <laughs> he did fish. his full quarantine, yeah. is what you're saying. Yeah, now, why, is, is there any reason why, I guess this was specific timing on that is a month or why it's a month or why it's not two weeks or why it's... A month is a good time range because a lot of uh, diseases and water, the life cycle of them takes around two to three weeks. So we want to wait for a full life cycle for any parasites on this fish to pass before we put it in these tanks. Gotcha. So we'll know if this fish has a disease probably two-ish weeks into its quarantine. And at that point, we can start treating it for whatever disease it might have. Gotcha. So this fish was lucky. We didn't have any diseases with it. It ate really well. That's another thing we want the fish to be eating really well before we put them in the main system. So he's been a golden candidate. Yeah, he looks pretty active down here. Like yeah, he's, he's very out. active. Watch this. He'll follow my finger around. <laughs> he thinks it's food. He's <laughs> a hungry guy. Yeah. So he'll do well in our main system then is what you're saying. Absolutely. Awesome. So are we going to catch him now? or what's, Yes. What's the... There we go. Okay, so let me get a... Here a little bit. There we have our porcupine puffer fish. And this is a pretty small one. They grow up to two feet in length. Okay, so now you're gonna add him to the bucket, you said? Yes. So he's in the bucket now, nice. and we're gonna start the acclimation process. Hey everyone, so we're back and this fish has been acclimating for about two hours now, so he's ready to go in the tank. But before that, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the tank we're putting them in, which is the seagrass tank here. And you can commonly find these puffer fish in seagrass beds uh, up and down the east coast. So we figured it'd be a good idea to put them in the seagrass tank. And a few of his tank mates are going to be these sergeant majors right here. Also, we have a frill fin goby right there on the rock. I don't see the red drum. There are also juvenile red drums in here. But I'm gonna go ahead back there and put this guy in and I'll see you guys soon.
So the pufferfish has been in for about a day now, and as you can see, he's eating really well. So this is great news, and from here on out, we're going to monitor his health in this tank and how he gets along with his tank mates. And if he does get a disease, we're going to move him back into quarantine and then get him back in this tank as fast as possible. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you join us on our next video, and have a good one.